another replacement part is the gear loops, which is the elasticated uh, portions. And we've also got that uh, plastic tubing as well. So one of the benefits of the True Motion harness is um, personalization. So a lot of people like to put um, extra gear loops at the bottom with the plastic tubing. And we've also got here the elasticated section that keeps the leg loops uh, in a good work position uh, while we're climbing. Although this is not technically uh, load bearing or you know PPE, we do actually need these in place. I have seen people cut these and then the trouble is your leg loops hang too low and that's fine the whole time that you're sat in it. The trouble is if you were to take a shock load or fall or rest, uh, those leg loops are either going to cut something pretty, uh, pretty important or damage your legs and all sorts of things. So, uh, so that sits in the right place. These elasticated parts are, are pretty important. Um, this is quite a good example here. Uh, they tend not to get too too damaged. The trouble is, um, for example, on this harness, the the pruning saw has been could have been the chainsaw maybe, but it looks to me like the the handsaw is probably positioned on the left hand side of this harness and it's just constantly just kind of just maybe missing the scabbard and, and catching it. There's obviously uh, something there to, to discuss with the operator but um, at this point here we can just replace this part. So we can untie it. Uh, you might find like here for example this is a big fat load of knot it's all nice and tight so probably the easiest is just to cut cut it free so just be careful obviously of other parts of the harness we don't want to cause other damage so just make sure you're cutting away from the harness and then just take note of which holes that these are in I tend to replace it as I'm undoing it uh, because it's easily forgotten sometimes you can tell just by the wear on the on the loops there so I'll get the new one and I'll feed it through exactly the same way down through there and then we'll put the toggle back on. So once I've got my new piece of elastic I've cut it I'm now going to follow it and pull this out so I'm going to pull the old one out and then follow it with the new one. Sometimes I mean you can wiggle it through there sometimes I'll put um, a piece of electrical tape and just wind it through it just makes it a bit easier because sometimes this can be a bit frayed on the ends so if you're struggling Give that little technique a try. So pop that out of there. So pop that through there. Just makes this a bit easier and a bit quicker. I always tend to replace the toggle as well because they can uh, become a little bit lazy, the older ones. So it comes with a new one, so I might as well use it. Notice how I've put them in, so the one coming from the top of the harness, or the back padding, is coming down through the toggle and the one that's coming from the uh, leg loop is going up. And then it's just a case of adjusting these. It's a personal preference. Remember the good thing about the True Motion harness, it's, it's all personal preference and adjustability. So once we get that to the right length, I'll cut the two tails and then we'll pop uh, figure of eight stop a knot in there or a double fishman's knot something just to stop it from popping back through